Here are some strange and unconventional hedge fund strategies that go beyond traditional investments. One category of unusual hedge fund strategies involves event-driven strategies. A standout example is litigation finance, where hedge funds provide capital to fund lawsuits in exchange for a share of the eventual settlement or judgment. This strategy allows hedge funds to profit from legal outcomes without directly engaging in court cases. For example, Burford Capital, one of the leaders in this space, has funded a variety of legal battles, including a multi-billion dollar lawsuit against Chevron over environmental damage in Ecuador. By financing lawsuits, hedge funds are effectively betting on the plaintiff's chances of winning a favorable verdict or settlement. Another event-driven strategy is distressed investing, where hedge funds target companies on the verge of bankruptcy. These funds purchase the distressed debt of companies at a significant discount, anticipating that they can turn a profit either through a company's recovery or by restructuring its debt. This strategy was particularly lucrative during the 2008 financial crisis when firms like Oaktree Capital capitalized on buying troubled companies' debt at fire sale prices, later benefiting when markets stabilized. In some cases, distressed debt funds can even take control of companies, using their leverage as creditors to reshape the business. Hedge funds also engage in more obscure forms of arbitrage. Weather arbitrage is an unusual strategy that involves making trades based on weather predictions and their impact on commodity prices. Hedge funds utilizing this strategy analyze meteorological data, farm reports, and global weather patterns to predict how conditions such as droughts or floods might affect agriculture or energy supplies. For instance, a hedge fund might bet that an extended period of drought will reduce the crop yields per week, pushing up the price. One notable example of weather-based investing is Weatherbill, a hedge fund turned tech firm that used sophisticated climate data to make these kinds of bets on weather-dependent commodities. Another peculiar arbitrage strategy is sports betting arbitrage. Though not traditionally associated with hedge funds, a small number of funds have delved into this space, profiting from inefficiencies in sports betting markets. Sports betting arbitrage involves placing opposing bets across different sportsbooks, which offer slightly different odds on the same sporting event. By leveraging advanced algorithms, these funds can track multiple sportsbooks and place bets to lock in guaranteed profits, no matter which team wins. During major events like the FIFA World Cup or the Super Bowl, where betting volumes and market inefficiencies spike, hedge funds have capitalized on these opportunities albeit at a small scale compared to more conventional arbitrage opportunities. Some hedge funds have taken advantage of insights into human behavior and market psychology to drive profits. For instance, funds that specialize in sentiment analysis monitor social media platforms, news articles, and blogs to gauge public mood and investor sentiment. By tracking trends on platforms like Twitter or Reddit, hedge funds can detect emotional overreactions in the market. If social media chatter becomes overly optimistic about a stock, hedge funds using sentiment analysis may short that stock, betting that the hype will fizzle out. Quantopian, an algorithmic trading hedge fund, was a pioneer in this space, developing models that interpreted market sentiment to find contrarian investment opportunities. Another bizarre example of behavior-based investing is sleep arbitrage, a strategy that takes advantage of how different time zones affect market reactions. Traders in different parts of the world may react to the same piece of news differently, depending on their state of mind. Traders in the US might react impulsively to breaking news during daytime hours, while traders in Europe or Asia, waking up to the same news, may make more rational, well-considered decisions. Hedge funds exploiting this dynamic place trades during overnight hours in anticipation of less emotional reactions in foreign markets. By understanding how emotions like fear and greed influence decision-making, sleep arbitrage traders aim to capitalize on irrational market behavior across time zones. Hedge funds also invest in esoteric asset classes that would be considered strange by most investors. For instance, some hedge funds invest in wine and whiskey as appreciating assets. These funds purchase rare bottles or aging barrels of fine wine and whiskey, betting that their value will increase over time due to scarcity and demand from wealthy collectors. Winecap, for example, focuses on acquiring rare Bordeaux vintages, 
holding them for years as they mature and increase in value. Wine and whiskey, as physical commodities with limited supply, often perform well during periods of economic uncertainty and provide diversification against traditional equity markets. Another esoteric asset class is carbon credits, which are part of a cap-and-trade system designed to curb carbon emissions. Companies that emit less carbon than their regulatory cap can sell excess credits to companies that exceed their emissions limits. Hedge funds like Generation Investment Management, county founded by Al Gore, invest in carbon credits, betting on the increasing demand for these credits as more industries adopt sustainable practices and governments tighten environmental regulations. Carbon credits have become a critical part of environmental finance, offering hedge funds a way to profit from the transition to a low-carbon economy. Perhaps the most ethically controversial asset class in which hedge funds invest is life settlements. In this strategy, hedge funds purchase life insurance policies from individuals who no longer need or can afford them, taking over premium payments and becoming the beneficiary upon the original policyholder's death. Hedge funds buy these policies at a discount, betting on the life expectancy of the policyholders and the timing of the payout. Coventry, one of the largest players in this market, manages billions of dollars in life settlements. While profitable, the strategy has sparked ethical debates, as critics argue that it creates financial incentives tied to the death of individuals. In addition to these obscure asset classes, hedge funds also invest in non-traditional markets that most investors would never consider. One such market is water rights. In areas where water scarcity is becoming a critical issue, hedge funds are buying water rights and selling access to farmers, municipalities, or industries that need it. Water Asset Management is an example of a hedge fund that has heavily invested in water rights in arid regions of the U.S. like California. As water becomes an increasingly scarce resource due to climate change and population growth, hedge funds view water rights as a long-term investment with the potential for significant returns. Even more unusual is the emergence of virtual real estate as an investment vehicle. With the rise of virtual worlds and metaverses, some hedge funds have begun purchasing digital land in platforms like Decentraland and The Sandbox. Just like physical real estate, location matters in these virtual environments. For example, prime virtual land located near popular social hubs or businesses within the metaverse can command premium prices. In 2021, a plot of virtual land in Decentraland's fashion district sold for $2.4 million, illustrating how virtual real estate has become a serious market for some investors. Hedge funds are betting that as more users engage with these virtual worlds, the demand for digital property will rise, leading to appreciation in value. In conclusion, hedge funds are constantly seeking ways to innovate and push the boundaries of finance. From event-driven strategies like litigation finance and distressed investing to quirky forms of arbitrage like weather arbitrage and sports betting arbitrage, hedge funds are willing to explore unconventional paths to generate alpha. These funds also capitalize on human behavior-based strategies, such as sentiment analysis and sleep arbitrage, as well as investing in esoteric asset classes like wine, whiskey, and carbon credits. As hedge funds continue to experiment with new markets and strategies, the range of unusual investments will likely grow, offering both risk and reward in uncharted territories.